Hello VC, um, I'm just making a very quick um, follow-up video to my last one. Uh, now in my last video um, I showed you a, a score which I made uh, at a charity shop uh, sale over the weekend. Um, after I posted that video, uh, the following day on the Saturday I think it was, I went back again to the same charity shop to see if there was anything left over. Um, it's kind of a bit like, you know, the the vultures uh, going to the carcass after the lions and the hyenas have finished with it. But um, I actually did manage to score some more um, very interesting stuff. Uh, like a, a lot of stuff that I've been looking for was gone, but there was still some interesting finds to make. Um, uh, I'll start off with... Um, I showed on my last um, video, um, I showed you a, 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 an interesting score that I made by uh, an, a singer called Butch Hancock. Um, uh, I was surprised to find that there was still another record by him uh, still there in the shop. Uh, it's called um, The Wind's Dominion and uh, it's a double album. Uh, again, like like uh, Firewater, which is the, la the last one I showed. This is also a private pressing. Uh, I got this for nine euros fifty, and um, I looked it up, um, and uh, it, it on Discogs it, it goes for goes for over thirty euros generally. It it is again uh, quite a, quite a saw, sought after album, and uh, it's an absolutely I I played this. Um, I played it last night. It plays perfectly. It is very, very close to excellent condition. Um, whoever had it um, looked after it very well. Um, I actually recognise one of the songs on it. Um, uh, there's one song on it called um, Own and Own. And uh, it, I, I, I've heard that song before. Uh, it has this chorus that goes something like uh, there are those who never come home. Uh, I know, I know that song. As soon as I heard it, I thought, yes, I've heard that before. Um, it, quite an interesting um, um, artist of Chancock. He's kind of more. He's uh, kind of um, quite a big Bob Dylan influence um, on his music. Uh, I, I like I like this. I, I like his stuff. But I am going to sell it along with the other Bob Chancock. Um, album that I showed you. As a matter of fact, at the moment I'm negotiating with a, um, a person in the States who um, who contacted me when he, I, I put when I put up the um, picture of my weekend score on, on Facebook, on um, the Facebook YouTube community um, page. Uh, I was contacted by, uh, by a person in the States who was very interested in both the albums, so I'm just at the mo uh, at the moment negotiating a price for them, so um, so uh, uh, I am hoping to 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 pick up something uh, to, to make a nice profit on them because they do go for quite a bit. Uh, both of those albums on um, Discogs. Um, while I was there as well, um, I also picked up this other. Um, country album um, by another artist who I'm not overly familiar with, uh, Tom T. Hall, I Witness Life. Um, I kind of got it, I thought, well, you know, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe that's something I could sell, flip it. Um, I, I looked it up afterwards. It doesn't go for a lot uh, on Discogs, but um, I hang on to it. I might consider selling it, if maybe trading it um, with somebody maybe um, we'll see um, uh, now one album which which wasn't there uh, the previous day which they must have put out after um, was an, uh, something I've been looking for for quite a while and I was very pleased to get this for six euros fifty and that is talking heads remain in light uh, I probably don't need to go into detail about this album. I'm, I'm sure uh, you're all familiar with it. Um, a very nice copy. Uh, it's the, an original European pressing. Was it, it 
released in the UK and Europe simultaneously, this particular pressing of Sire. Uh, it is in really, really nice nick. Uh, there's a copy currently for sale in another record, a secondhand record shop here in Cork for 20 euros. So for six euros 50, this was uh, an excellent bargain. And I'm gonna be hanging on to this. I'm not selling this. Uh, this this is this I'm keeping because I've been looking for this. I've been meaning to get this for quite a while. So um, very happy with that. Uh, okay. Um, another record, another interesting find, which I didn't spot, which I think I must have put out again because uh, it definitely wasn't there previous day was this. Uh, this is the Best of Cream uh, compilation on Polydor Records. Um, again, I think this is something that I might try and sell or trade if possible. Um, I think this is a, an Australian pressing, an original Australian pressing. Um, it's in nice condition as well. Um, now, um, now Ben Costello, um, uh, about, about five minutes after I, I, I um, went into the, the store, the magpie came in after me. So um, Ben, you know who the magpie is. Um, he didn't get his hands on any, any of these because uh, I got there before him. Um, uh, so after that, there wasn't a, lot, a whole lot more interesting stuff left so there's loads they have loads and loads of classical um, uh, LPs in there uh, which most people weren't going for so um, I grabbed a couple of them and I grabbed this this is a Baroque Music 2 and it's recording made by the Open University in, in Britain um, I like a bit of Baroque music, so I um, got this for €3.50, uh, nice condition. Um, also, um, following, um, there's quite a um, this, there's a couple of um, LPs by uh, recordings of them. Um, Enrique Caruso, uh, the great Caruso, the great tenor. Um, now these recordings are seriously old school. Um, there's recordings on this going back to 1904. So I, I haven't listened to it yet, but I can imagine uh, that should sound pretty interesting. Um, on this label. Uh, that's one. That's um, this other one as well, um, Enrique Caruso, Tenor, Volume 13. Uh, again, this is 350. Uh, Olympus Records, quite an interesting um, label there. Okay, so that was the charity shop um, um, hall. Uh, it's now picked clean uh, there's almost nothing left of interest there now really um, so uh, I would um, now you may remember I, I put up a video a few days ago about a massive score of um, uh, Black Sabbath um, vertical squirrels that I made in, in another um, uh, shop here in Cork now I went back there uh, to see if there's anything interest any anything interesting left there uh, not not a lot not a lot really um, but I did make two interesting discoveries uh, two nice finds uh, both soundtrack albums the um, soundtrack to enter the dragon with Bruce Lee Uh, but, uh, chop suey, chop sucky, um, no, not chops, chops, <laughs> okay, um, on, um, 
Warner Brothers. Uh, and um, the soundtrack to um, Cleopatra Jones. Uh, exploitation, 70s exploitation movie. Uh, very interesting find. Both of these, they were for 5 euros, or 10 in total, so I got them for 8 euros, the two of them. So, uh, so it was a great bargain. Uh, very pleased, pleased to find this because um, I don't have a lot of um, uh, black exploitation soundtracks in my collection, so uh, quite happy with this. Um, this is by um, uh, Joe Simon and also featuring contributions by Millie Jackson. So I'm looking forward to giving this a spin. So. Um, so that's it. Um, that's pretty much. Uh, uh, that'll be probably my my. I know I know I said the last video was going to be my last for a while, but I think definitely because I spent so much money on vinyl over the last few days that I think uh, I've got to curtail the um, spending, especially as I'm out of work at the moment. So um, I'll have to just uh, discipline myself and. Um, so hopefully this will be the last video update in a while. So um, take care everybody and uh, thanks for watching.